As the Washington Post has just released allegations that the identity of Jihadi John is a British man named Mohammed Mwazi, it's important for us as British citizens to reflect on how and why a, a, a person who has grown up in the UK, such as Mwazi, has gone on to, to leave this country seeking belonging uh, elsewhere, particularly with the Islamic State. Now, Mwazi Muhammad is a person that I spent a great deal, deal of time with, a period of over two years, because he came to me complaining initially of um, harassment that he had faced at the hands of security agencies when he had wanted to go to Tanzania on holiday. And ever since that time, ever since the British told the Tanzanians to pick him up and send him back to the UK, he has faced non-stop harassment. When he returned from that trip in 2009, the security agencies asked him a whole series of questions about his opinions about 9-11, 7-7, so, so on and so forth, alleging that he had gone to the Horn of Africa um, in order to join Al-Shabaab, except they themselves revealed that they had contacted Muhammad's fiance in Kuwait, saying or suggesting to her and her family that Muhammad was a terrorism suspect. So, of course, Muhammad retorted by saying, well, if you knew I was about to get married in Kuwait, you'd know that I wasn't going to join Al-Shabaab, that I was going on holiday and looking to come back. But that didn't seem to make any difference to the security agencies. So what happened after that, from 2009 all the way until August 2013, is a long series of communications between Cage and Muhammad, where our organization is trying to give him the help that he needs by referring him to the media, to legal channels, to political channels, to diplomatic channels through his embassy. And in every single scenario, Muhammad is doing his best over that whole period to try and find some recourse to being able to live his life outside of the UK and away from harassment. But at every single turn, the UK security agencies were there blocking him, stopping him, without ever bringing any kind of criminal case against him. And eventually, after this extremely long period of time, Muhammad leaves his family, and the next thing they hear is that he's ended up in Syria. So, in order to understand this case, we have to look at all of the circumstances that led up to, if it's true, the creation of this persona of Jihadi John, if it is indeed Muhammad Mwazi. Because if it is, then the questions shouldn't be about Jihadi John, but they should be about what role have our security services played in, in completely alienating uh, people in this society, in this country, and turning them away from being able to find solutions to the problems that they have. So I urge you all to read the CAGE website, look at all the material, look at the emails that were exchanged between Muhammad and CAGE, and without even any analysis, you will see for yourself that this young man was completely uh, was given the message that he did not belong here.